Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, showing you guys how to create custom cosmetics for Unturned. Now for those of you who don't know, uh, cosmetics for Unturned are similar to like the gold tuxedo and the uh, golden aviators, the monocle, stuff like that. Essentially they are things that can be purchased or maybe given away. We don't know how they're going to be implemented into the game yet, uh, but there is a curated workshop currently for Unturned. So if you go into workshop and then you click on curated uh, under the browse menu, uh, you can see that Fife has already, or Fif has made um, a curated clothing item for the Queen's Guard outfit. He's got these uh, cool little things here. And if you vote yes on this, which I think is pretty cool, so I voted yes, um, eventually this may be implemented into the game to where people might be able to buy it, or maybe you'll be able to get it in like some sort of like crate drop, kind of like uh, CSGO or something. I don't know how it's going to be implemented, but um, essentially you'll be able to use that as a Steam cosmetic. It won't have any sort of physical benefits towards you in the game, it just like changes the way you look, but essentially that's what you're going to be able to make uh, using this tutorial. From here you can upload your creations to the Steam Curated Workshop and leave it out there for the community to vote on your creations as to whether or not they want it in the game and that's pretty exciting. Uh, so if you want to create something in the Curated Workshop or some sort of Steam cosmetic, the things you are going to need are these things right here. We have the Asset Bundle thing that works with Unity. Uh, the download link to that will be in the description down below. It essentially makes it where you can bundle your assets into one nice little Unity 3D file that Unturn uses. Uh, so after you guys download that, I will show you how to actually apply it into Unity. Um, also, you're going to need Unity, Unity 5.1. You can just download that. I'll put the download link for that in the description down below. Once you get that fully downloaded, you're pretty much good to go. And then you're going to need some sort of image editing program that supports transparent pixels and it's also able to export in PNG. Essentially that's Photoshop or GIMP. Photoshop is, of course, it costs money and GIMP is free, though I do not have any experience in GIMP. Supposedly it's very similar to Photoshop, so you might be able to follow along to it exactly, but in this video I'm just going to show you guys the creation of it in uh, Photoshop. But first up, you're going to start up Photoshop and we're going to start creating using this template image. You can find this texture in your game files. Just right click on turn, go into properties, local files, browse local files, then go into bundles, sources, animation, and then this texture image um, is what you will use in Photoshop to kind of give yourself a little like guideline, I suppose. One thing to note when you are creating your textures, um, if you want to begin creating a texture for the front of the torso, let's say you're making a shirt, um, you need to color in not just the colored area here, just you would think that you'd color in this area all right here, all this area, but you actually need to go one pixel out. So one pixel of that black border, so like this, and so that's what is going to be the texture itself. So you need to go one pixel out, and that applies to everything. So even these small little... Uh, yellow squares here, one pixel out once again, and then down here where it's not like a two pixel thick border, you, it's once again just, you know, one pixel out. Oh, did a little bit too much there. But yeah, this is what you'd be coloring in. One thing also to note is that it does not support semi-transparent pixels. So one thing to make sure you accidentally do not create transparent pixels is to set your brush to pencil mode and then your eraser to pencil mode up here as well. Because if it's on brush mode, which I'll, I'll set it to brush, as you can see, it creates these semi-transparent pixels. And when you upload that into the game, it'll screw things up. It'll either be like not there or like uh, be very solid. It's just not nice, okay? Just don't do it. Um, so to make sure you don't accidentally create some semi-transparent pixels, just set it to pencil mode and you'll be leaving some pixel art like this. So I am going to create for myself, um, I'm thinking that I kind of wanted to do like a little robot suit or something. I don't know, I don't think it's going to turn out very well, but I'm just going to try it out. And so I'll just time lapse through that as fast as possible. If you guys like to skip to the end of that, just to see the end result, you can just click on the annotation on the screen right now, and it will bring you to that point. But um, I think at this point, I'm just going to start to make a robot suit. So here I go.
All right, I think I'm pretty much good to go when it comes to this. Now when it comes to saving it, make sure that you have the, uh, the template layer, of course, disabled, everything else transparent, make sure everything's good to go, make sure you have no semi-transparent pixels anywhere, because that will screw things up. And then you're going to go into File, Save As, and save it as a PNG image. Now the name doesn't really matter at all, uh, just for personal sake. I mean, you're going to have to rename it when you import it into Unity, but uh, whatever, we can just name it anything for now. So this is the robot top there we go make sure it's saved as a png image and you're good to go also i forgot um i mean if you import that image of this little like uh, template layer by itself um, it should automatically recognize it but just make sure that the image size is 128 by 128 pixels uh, that's just the size that it needs to be. Uh, so once you've saved that image, you're good to go in terms of uh, the actual texture itself. Now we need to turn it into a shirt and apply it onto a character. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated, but just follow me step by step and we'll get right through it pretty quickly. Uh, so go ahead and start up Unity after you've downloaded it. We're going to start a new project. It doesn't really matter what it's called. Um, I have this asset creation, but it's already got all this stuff, so I'm, I'm just going to create a new project just like uh, you guys. I'm going to call it ASDF, ASDF, because I've already got a project name called ASDF, so i got to make two ASDFs. But uh, save it in a pretty good location. I, I guess you could save it in just some documents. That's fine. Leave it as 3D, even though we are working with two-dimensional textures, but just leave it 3D. I, I don't even think it matters. I'm not even sure. But start the project. It might take a little bit to load. And once it fully loads, you'll be greeted with all of this stuff here. And uh, from here, we're going to work with our asset bundle here. So after you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it up. And inside, oops, not this one, the uh, 7-zip one, you're going to open it up and you're going to take all of the folders. You don't need to worry about these attribute things and these licenses and stuff. Just don't worry about that. Just drag all these folders into your unturned little asset section here and it will add them into your game. Um, it should hopefully, I mean it sounds weird to say hopefully, but it should hopefully come up with some errors. Double click on one of those errors. As you can see this is saying that there's an error popping up at line 159. So just double click on the error and it's going to open up that script in mono develop and go to line 159. Um, so as you can see at line 159 it wants us to replace this dot load with dot load asset so go ahead and do that hopefully we are popping up with the same kind of error um, so just do this there we go close that and double click on the other error which is looking like it's popping up at 187 which it should automatically go to that point and as you can see we have the same issue dot load we need to replace that with dot load asset there we go control s on both which I I think I might have forgotten to do on the previous one, but I don't know. There we go. So it did recognize it. It's going to start working now, and it's going to say that it requires some sort of um, API updater thing. Yeah, an AP API update required. And it's also going to say that you need to make a backup, but there's nothing to make a backup of. So just go ahead and say um, that you've already made one, and it's going to go ahead and update that API. And now you're good to go. So now when you try and bundle some assets, which it gave you, a little um, example one here filled with just some of the uh, logos of the people who made this asset bundle. If you right click and go into bundle creator and asset bundle creator you can build an asset bundle and it will kind of bundle those images together into a Unity 3D file right here and that's actually what Unturned recognizes. So we are going to create an asset bundle ourselves uh, by right clicking in this area here. So as you can see if we go into assets then go into data and asset bundles and we're going to create a folder in here and this is what we're going to call our item so I'm making a robot top so we'll call that robot top and then inside there is where we're going to drag our actual files for that robot top so the first thing we need to add aside from the image itself is an empty game object so we're going to go up into this game object tab up here and click create empty you can also press Control shift n but whatever works uh, once you click that it will add this stuff over in the inspector window and it's going to be called game object and it's going to be completely empty the only thing that we need to do is just rename it to item nothing else just press enter just rename it item don't mess with anything leave it untagged leave it on default layer leave it um, unchecked with static just leave it like that I don't know why but just leave it like that then over here in this hierarchy we're going to drag that new item game object that we've created 
and drag it into our little robot top folder that we made or whatever you decided to name yours. So as you can see, we have an empty game object just called item. And then we're also gonna drag in our little picture that we just made in Photoshop. So wherever you save that, just go ahead and find it. I've got my robot top right here. Just drag that into Unity in that little folder that we've created in there. And then go ahead and rename that image by double clicking it and rename it to shirt with a capital S and nothing else. Just go ahead and press enter and leave it like that. Just to make sure that you actually saved it from Photoshop as a PNG, just check down here to make sure that it says shirt.png and you are good to go. Over to the right, we're gonna have to mess with some of these settings. Um, just go ahead and set the texture type to advanced and then turn on read, write enabled and also alpha is transparent. Lastly, also go down into filter mode and set this to point and that's it. You can just click the apply button. It should now in this little preview window have some checkerboard for the transparent areas. If it does not have any checkerboard area, then that means that you did not export it out of your image editing program as transparent. So just make sure that um, it actually is transparent in this image editing program as well and that it will pop up just fine in here. So from here you have officially created an unturned cosmetic. Now we just need to bundle it and put it in the game. So you're gonna right click on that folder that we've just created filled with those assets we just put in there. Um, just go into bundle creator and asset bundle creator. It'll pop up this window that I showed you before. You don't really need to mess with it. Actually, it's probably gonna automatically set your settings to this. Uh, just remove complete assets and, uh, and turn on uncompressed asset bundles. Once again, I don't know what that does, but just do it. And you can click build asset bundles. It should hopefully have a little robot top Unity 3D that it has just created or whatever you named your little folder there. And it also might have that logo bundle thing uh, which is that example one if you haven't deleted that. So when you click on that new bundle that's been created, make sure that it has item.prefab in it and shirt.png in it as well. And then go ahead and click show in Explorer and you should see this robottop.unity3d file. And that's what we're gonna put in our little item folder, which leads me into the next step of the tutorial. We're gonna have to create a .dat file for your shirt as well. So we're gonna go into our unturned properties. So unturned properties, local files, browse local files, then go into bundles, items. And if you made a shirt, then you would kind of copy a .dat from some sort of similar um, shirt. It really can be just any sort of shirt. So let's say this RCMP top, just go ahead and copy that .dat file. And in fact, you could probably just copy that whole entire folder. So we'll just do that. So we've copied the RCMP top and we're gonna rename that to one of our own. So we have robot top, there we go. Go ahead and press enter and we have robot top here. Inside you can delete the english.dat, it's not gonna do anything, but we are gonna need to edit this stuff. So just remove all the blueprints, remove all the armor, remove the width and height, remove all that. Remove the usable because it's not gonna be a usable, it's once again just gonna be a cosmetic, it cannot be equipped. Just remove that. Make sure it's a type shirt. If you made some pants, then call it pants. Um, but since we made a shirt, we're gonna call it shirt. Also in Unity, if you made some pants, uh, you're gonna name this pants instead of shirt. So we'll call it pants like that. Also give it an ID that has not currently been taken. Um, I believe IDs underneath 2000 is reserved for official content. So make sure you choose some sort of random number beyond that. It also has to be less than 65535. Uh, I think there's a specific algorithm as to why it's that specific number, but just make sure it's less than that and more than 2,000. So I'm just gonna do 3,000, that sounds good. So once we've done all that, you're pretty much good to go. You can leave the size X, Y, and Z the same as uh, what you just copied it over. I believe that's for the icon, but since we don't even have an icon, it doesn't matter, but um, you might just need it there just in case. But really the thing that matters is making sure that you have the type correct and the ID set to one that hasn't been taken and is less than the integer limit. So just go ahead and control S to save that and close it. Um, and we're also gonna go back there and we need to rename it to not RCMP top, but make sure it's the same as what you named the folder, which was robot top. So as you can see, we're in the robot top folder and inside we have robot top .dat. And then also remember back when, when we clicked um, open in Explorer on our little uh, robot top .unity 3D, you're gonna keep that folder open or you should have kept it open hopefully and we are gonna drag that into that folder we've just created. So we have 
um, our robot top folder that we've created in the unturned game directory filled with robot top.dat and we'll also drag that robot top.unity 3d which contains the texture in there as well so from there it's officially in if you go into unturn you can spawn it for yourself i'm not even joking so let's see what it looks like i'm also kind of excited myself to see um, what that design looked like. Hopefully it turned out pretty cool. So if we go into unturn, go ahead and click play. I, I think I already forgot what I set the ID to. I think it was 3000, so fingers crossed. I don't want to have to re-navigate through there and figure out what it is. So go ahead and go into PEI. Here is my little astronaut suit in case you were wanting to get a better look at it. Um, I also gave myself a white balaclava to see, kind of get a, give a better idea of what it would look like. But yeah, that's the astronaut suit. I thought it turned out pretty sweet. Anyway, going back. Um, so we'll take those off, boop, 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 there we go, in the moment of truth, let's see what our new shirt looks like, so 3,000, pachow, check it out, it's a robot shirt, <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cool, I think it turned out pretty robotic looking, yeah, that's pretty sweet, I just need to make some bottoms on it, and uh, we're pretty much good to go, that is very cool. So we've got our AAA batteries, six of them, our positive and negative terminals right there. Some little battery indicators on the sides. Little front control panel here. I'll turn my character around. Oops. Um, there we go. Turn them around in the light. I'm still getting used to these camera controls. I might do a video on that soon. Yeah, we've got a control panel. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty cool. If I give them a, if I give them a helmet and... Uh, maybe a backpack and uh, some pants. I think it'd turn out pretty cool. But anyway, I'm not here to show you guys that in this little tutorial. Once again, this is just a tutorial to show you how to create custom cosmetics for Unturned. Um, from here, you can upload your little creations that you've made into the curated workshop and make it available to the public for the world to use and possibly be implemented into the game. I can't wait to see what kind of things you guys are able to create. I think it's going to be awesome. But anyway, that is how you create custom cosmetics for unturned thank you guys so much for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out